Hey, what's up? It's Claude Johnson, and uh, I'd like to show you this little blues lick I, uh, I was noodling around with earlier today. It goes like this. One more time. Alright, so it's a pretty easy little lick. Um, just make sure you have your basic bands and vibratos down first. And if you need help with that, please check out my beginning lead guitar course, which is called Killer Lead Guitar Made Simple. Actually, please check out all of our fine DVD courses. I'm sure you'll find something you like. And you can find them all at guitarcontrol.com slash courses. Okay, now for this lick, um, we're going to start on the 12th fret of the B string with a bend, full step bend, that's two frets. And then we're going to go on the high E string from the 9th to the 12th chromatically. Chromatically just means one fret at a time. And then back to the 10th. And then we're going to repeat that first bend. Okay, so once again, bend. Up. 10th. And bend again. So the first part all put, put together is like this. And then um, we're going to do this thing. And uh, I'll go over the rhythm in just a second. Let me just show you the notes. Again, we're going to repeat that first bend, but we're going to release it back to the 12th fret. And then 10th. And then 12th. And then down to the G string on the 11th fret. And finally end on the 10th. So that second part of the lick goes like this. So first part. Second part. Now what really makes the magic of this lick, in my opinion, is the rhythm. And uh, the trickiness is in the second part. It's actually two triplets, uh, but the third note of the first triplet is held. So think of it as like one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, but that third note, as I said, is, is stretched out. So you can like say one, two, three, and then say the, the one quietly. So one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then the last note is just it's just a whole note or a quarter note, whatever. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one. And you don't even get into the triplet feel until you do the first part. So think of it as like um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Uh, it's a little bit of a complex rhythm to try to explain in a video, but please check the tabs and um, it should make it clear. And, uh, you know, feel free to play around with that rhythmic concept, you know, the triplets. Anywhere you want, you know, like for example, right triplet. So you can, you can hold that third one. Play around with it. You can also play around with uh, just this lick with, you know, different rhythms. Mix up the notes. 